Hi, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to be covering um, applying a blur to the edges and also a vignette, which is a dark, um, kind of soft. Uh, well, if you look in this, uh, if you look on my desktop, I have this soft black edges here, and that's uh, called a vignette. And I'm going to do this with no third party plugins such as Mag Magic Bullet Looks. So, um, yeah, basically just start up After Effects. And uh, we want to create our new composition. So go to Composition, New Composition, or Control N. Choose your settings. I always use 12 by 720 unless it's for something else, a banner or something. Click OK. And now we want to drag our footage, or in this case our image, just to demonstrate, uh, into your composition timeline. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is a vignette. Uh, I'll show you how to do the blur afterwards. So go to Layer, New, Solid and make sure this is the same size as your comp so click the make comp size button make sure the color is black or for whatever reason you're changing the color obviously um, if you want to do something like having blood uh, fade in on the edges then I'd suggest red obviously or something like that anyway for this tutorial we're just going to do a vignette so a black solid would do now up here on your palette there should be a uh, basically a rectangle tool and this is a mask tool but it's predefined so if we hold down mouse if, and drag it we'll have this menu and if we let go on ellipse tool our ellipse tool becomes selected so with our black solid selected double click the ellipse tool this will create essentially uh, an ellipse so basically down here in the mask we want to put this drop down box to subtract and drop down the mask uh, options and this is where we control our mask so I'd suggest a feather of maybe 180 maybe 170 it depends where you want to go and then we want to play with the mask expansion now minus brings it closer and up brings it further away and to the edges I don't like to impose it too much on the viewer so I'd leave it somewhere around here now to see the effect of it better we can solo this layer and turn on the uh, transparency grid and here you can see the proper effect of the vignette anyway on to the blurring part of the tutorial there's many ways to blur the edges and the one thing I like uh, to do is use an adjustment layer because that way I don't have to make two copies and mask the other copy and do the same thing but apply effects to it I can just do it all in one uh, adjustment layer so let me explain real quick what an adjustment layer is. Basically, an adjustment layer affects all layers underneath it. So, basically, if you have anything under it, it will be blurred. And, of course, you can move the adjustment layer around um, and move it under others so they're not affected. So, it's some some issues may occur if, you're, if you have a lot of stuff in your comp. So, really just watch out and see if it affects anything. So, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer and here's our new adjustment layer and what we're going to do is we essentially want to do the same thing have it selected double click the ellipse tool it'll create our little ellipse put it to subtract and now before we do anything else we want to see what we're doing so if we go to effect blur and sharpen lens blur or fast blur lens blur is just much more in depth and I like it fast blur is quicker rendering etc now the first thing we want to do before we even start messing with settings is make sure we repeat edge pixels otherwise this black feather will occur now if we take the uh, tick the repeat edge pixels those are gone and now we can start playing with the mask so again 180 feather oops that was the expansion my bad 180 feather and expand it to wherever you want now there's a very subtle uh, blur in the edges of course again you don't want to impose this on the user too much otherwise it will be kind of strainy but in this case in this image I think it looks nice right about here so basically that's it for the tutorial I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something new now remember you can do this in uh, Vegas as well but I suggest doing it in After Effects if you do have After Effects because it's a lot more simple so yeah if you have any questions drop a comment or go to our forums artificialanimation.com slash forum and um, we'll help you out there if you have any questions so that's it for me and uh, there will be more tutorials coming soon so just uh, stay subscribed and look out for that